that's a big component in the forecast, but also too in the new advisory, the slower movement. We went from 18 miles per hour up to the north just two hours ago, now down to 16. Yeah, so that's really the only change that we've right. seen with this hourly update. Again, not a complete update from the National Hurricane Center. We're just getting effectively this, what you're seeing on the screen, and a positional update. But yeah, the storm decelerating a touch. We are expecting it to pick up the pace, though, once again, moving closer to landfall. But, you know, the slower movement, at least for the time being, allows those warmer waters to help bring in the intensification. That pinhole eye emerging in the last couple of hours also showing the signs of an intensifying storm. And I think the aircraft, the Air Force uh, hunters that are going to be flying through this storm, that data that comes in as they make those passes through the center is going to be the key difference in likely seeing that upgrade to major strength in that 2 o'clock advisory this morning. Yeah, Jane, I just checked in with Cody here in Weather Command. Sounds like we had a gust in Sarasota uh, close to the beach up over 60 miles per hour, so up to 61. That's with that core. Uh, more than 100 miles off to the west-northwest of Sarasota. That is a live picture from Cedar Key uh, from a Nest camera. Look at that water sloshing around already. This is a place right there in Levy County that we are particularly concerned about. There's a reason why Cedar Key had a mandatory evacuation. You can already see that water rising. Cedar Key is in through here. So you, you see the shape of this, how it's just getting tucked in toward Appalachie Bay, and that's what the forecast models have been projected with this overall path. On the advancing side of this storm system, you get this significant component of onshore flow, and it's going to stay that way for several hours' time. You throw that in conjunction with the fact that this is an incredibly poorly timed major hurricane with the, with the supermoon. Today, now we're expecting that to peak today, these were already going to be some of the highest high tides of all of 2023, and now you've got a surge that's helping to assist that. So yes, Jane just pointed out that pinhole eye. When you've got these smaller inner cores where you can see those darker reds and the purples, these smaller cores can intensify much more quickly, Jane. That's what we're expecting uh, this go around is this is likely going to be up to cat four status before it makes landfall. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.